Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero, and Duncan Robinson just got the Miami Heat to the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference. Now there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about today and I'm really excited. But before we get started, we have to get the YouTube stuff out of the way, you guys. Scotty Ice Miami is in full effect. And the goal for the channel is 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month. It's a goal that we have to achieve, so you have to give your boy the HBO special. If you don't know what the HBO special is, it's the Help a Brother Out special. So help a brother out and like and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you follow me on both of my Instagram pages. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I also want to tell you guys that this channel is for strictly Miami Heat content and a little bit of Orlando Magic content as well. But this is what you guys wanted, so I had to give it to you. I don't want to waste any more time, you guys. So DC, let's get it. Now you guys, the Miami Heat beat the Boston Celtics 129 to 121. And of course, the win was bittersweet. You see, Jalen Brown, he's out for the rest of the season. But yet, this team is still a competitive team. Even though they're not at full strength, I'm pretty happy with the win and the results. You see, Evan Fournier, Jason Tatum, and Kemba Walker, these guys all have heart. And the NBA shouldn't write them off. I mean, they were able to hang with the Miami Heat, the defending Eastern Conference champions. Nonetheless, we were able to secure the win, and it was something that we really needed. You see, we're the fourth seed now, and of course, if we win every single game from now on, we will remain that seed and either play the Atlanta Hawks or the New York Knicks. And I'm feeling pretty confident about this, and you know why? Playoff hero is back. The man had a double-double. 24 points and 11 rebounds. On top of that, he shot 10 of 15 from the field and 4 of 7 from beyond the arc. I already know what happened, you guys. Jimmy pulled the man to the side and said, we don't do that here. We're all in it for the team, and you can tell in his gameplay. I'm glad that he's got his head back on straight because we will need him for that NBA Finals push. Now next, I want to talk about Bam. It's like everything we talked about on my main page, which I hope you guys subscribe to already. But a lot of you were saying that Bam should have taken advantage over the fact that they don't have a decent center. And the man did just that. He had 22 points, 7 rebounds, and 5 assists. You could tell from his gameplay, his swag, his style of play, that this guy is the most humble superstar in the league right now. He can guard position 1-5. through five. He can play down low. He can crash the boards. And he hustles on every single play. Tristan Thompson and Grant Williams were virtually useless on the entire game for the Boston Celtics. And honestly, you can't go small with this team because that's what Bam will strive in the entire playoffs. Now, if they did get a big lineup, then that's where Detman comes in. He'll be able to get you boards. He'll be able to score efficiently. He doesn't take bad shots. And that's what this team needed all along. Now, I'm not saying Drummond or Aldridge wouldn't have been a better fit, but the Miami Heat made a right decision with what they had left. And it turns out this guy is one of the ultimate team players, which is a part of the Miami Heat culture. Now, the last person I want to talk about, even though there's some good and bad to it, is Duncan Robinson. Now, of course, we know the good. The man lit up the Boston Celtics. He had 22 points, shot 6 of 10 from the field, 5 of 9 from downtown, and 5 of 6 from the free throw line. I mean, come on, you guys. Nobody expected this, that this man would be this good of a player. And of course, we know what this man can do. The problem with the Miami Heat team is they have too many good players. Imagine losing the game and Tyler Hero's in. He shoots two of nine from the field. Now, I highly doubt it because this man is a playoff beast. You would be like, maybe I should have had Duncan Robinson in or Dragic. But honestly, Eric Spolstra is a genius. So I have full faith in what he can do with this team. Now, what I want to talk about, you guys, besides the Boston Celtics game, you see, Duncan Robinson can get up to $20 million a year in free agency. And it's well-deserved. We all know what this guy has been doing. He 
He's been helping the Miami Heat team for the last few months. I want to ask you guys, do you think that Miami Heat should re-sign Duncan Robinson? And if they do, should they keep him for the long term or should they use him as trade bait? Now, of course, we're all talking about how Kawhi Leonard should come to town. And if he does, maybe he might want another superstar. One thing I do know about this Miami Heat team is they have a great relationship with these players. So if he does resign with the Miami Heat, he might be able to strike a deal with this team. Maybe a friendly deal with probably $15 million a year, $12 million a year, I wouldn't be too surprised because Eric Spolstra and Pat Riley have great relationship with these guys. And I mean a great relationship because I'm pretty sure whenever Jimmy Butler contract does expire, he will take a lesser deal to make sure that this team stays afloat. And one more shout out, shout out to Jimmy Butler. He has this team together. Jimmy, he was able to play and take a break at the same time tonight because he only scored 13 points. He only took eight shots and any other superstar wouldn't have had that coming. You know what they would have did. They would have went out there and got theirs. You see, Jimmy Butler is more like LeBron James than I thought. Of course, LeBron's gonna go get his, but not at an expense of an NBA game. I mean, of course, this guy wants to win ranked, and Jimmy has that same attitude. Him and the Miami Heat were a match made in heaven, and I'm glad that these guys paired up. Now, before I leave you guys, I have one question to ask. What do you think is the ceiling for this Miami Heat team? I ask it all the time, but since this is a new channel, I have to give it a fresh start. Now, anyways, you guys, make sure you follow me on both of my Instagram pages. It will be greatly appreciated. And I appreciate you guys for supporting the Scotty Ice Miami page. This your boy Scotty Ice, aka Baby Brian, aka the Black Skip Bayless, and you already know, I'm out.